make your point on the news hour join arnab every night on the news hour with your question ask your question and join the debate talking of Imran Khan's PTI which is funding the Darul Ulum Haqqaniya University. Now this university remember is infamous for methods for content of instruction. There are several terrorist alumni of the Darul Ulum Haqqaniya University here. These are the reactions we are getting to hear. You are right to the extent that you know a number of uh, very senior Taliban figures uh, uh, from Afghanistan and also from Pakistan have uh, uh, graduated from uh, this Darul Ulum. So that's one aspect of it. Why did the government uh, uh, allocate such a big amount for one particular Darul Ulum? Uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, one, it is located uh, inside uh, the, uh, uh, in the district of the Chief Minister Parvez Khattak. And number two, the government says that the, uh, uh, the uh, you know, the Darul Ulum itself had written a letter to the government uh, uh, seeking funds for its operation. So that's the official version. As per the government law, uh, you know, all the money that is uh, given to a madrasa, it has to be audited. And I'm sure if, uh, if the government is not asking for, uh, you know, if the, if the Darul Ulum is not uh, uh, providing any audit reports of where the money uh, is spent, the government should ask for, 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 uh, for, for the financial audit of the, of the Darul Ulum because it's not just the government which is uh, giving funds to this Darul Ulum. There are obviously many other uh, sources from where this Darul Ulum would be get, getting its money to, to operate. So remember, those are the reactions now that we are getting to hear and why at all this fund was then going to nurture terrorists. That is something that Imran Khan will need to answer. Because remember, this we are talking of what, what are the alumni list of this uh, infamous Darul Ulum Haqqaniya University and there are a number of terrorist group essentially. So what was the larger intent? Was the larger intent essentially to launch a covert operation against India? And what should New Delhi then be doing?